all right so here comes the next example let's look at this one the radius of a circle is 13 centimeter and x y is a chord which is at a distance of 12 centimeter from the center find the length of the chord the given options are 12 centimeters 10 centimeter 20 centimeters and 15 centimeters if you observe this again is similar to what we have done in example one the only difference is in example one we were asked to find out the radius of the circle and this time it is about the length of the chord so the concept is going to be the same right we have to use the pythagoras theorem but there's an important point which you need to remember here let us understand that uh, while solving this question so like it says the radius is 13 and xy is a chord the chord is at a distance of 12 centimeters so take a circle let's say this is the chord xy center here is o the distance of the chord from the center is given as 12 centimeters so this is 12 centimeter and the radius radius can be taken as oy so you can say radius is this as well but always try to make a right angle triangle so that we can apply pythagoras theorem so the radius oy is given as 13 centimeters and like you all know this is going to be a right angle triangle so we can apply pythagoras theorem let's say this point here is p so opy is a right angle triangle can we get the length py yes we can say py squared equals to 13 squared minus 12 squared. I am not writing all this detailed Pythagoras theorem there. Hypotenuse square should be equal to base square plus height square. Or we can say base square equals to hypotenuse square minus height square minus the perpendicular square. So 13 square minus 12 square which is 169 minus 144, 25. Right? So py square is 25. From this py is equal to square root of 25, 5 centimeters. So this part is 5 centimeters. But remember, the question says find the length of the chord, right? Length of the chord is x, y. Now, we know that from the center, when you draw a perpendicular on the chord, it bisects the chord, which means xp will be equal to py. It will divide it into two equal halves. xp is equal to py, which will equal to 5 centimeters. So, what is the length of the chord? x, y. Length of the chord x, y will be equal to 5 plus 5, that is 10 centimeters. Well, you can cut down the number of steps here. I'm just giving a detailed explanation so that you can follow. But within two, three steps, or I think two steps, you'll be able to solve uh, this question, right? So both example one and example two are based on uh, the Pythagoras application, right? Always remember the radius will be the hypotenuse from the center. Draw a radius so that it becomes the hypotenuse, and you get a right angle triangle. Apply Pythagoras theorem on the right angle triangle. Solve for the unknown value and get the required answer. So the important point which you need to remember is double this and he's asking us to find out the chord length of the chord x y simply double this because this is half of the chord half of the chord is 5 full chord will be double of 5 which is 10 so option b 10 centimeters would be the correct answer.